I want to show you a simple way to self-custody Bitcoin using two smartphones. It's possible to have reasonable security using just two smartphones. One phone will have internet access, but this internet connected smartphone won't contain your seed phrase or secret words precisely because it's a vulnerable device. The Bitcoin wallet on this phone will be read only, allowing you to check your balance and generate deposit addresses when you want to do your DCA. The other smartphone should never connect to the internet so you can't check your balance on it. It's only for storing your secret words and validating transactions. So we're on Electrum's official site. Let's go to the download section to see our options. For newer smartphones like mine, you'll want to use the 64-bit version. Clicking here downloads the app. I've already got it in this folder. Now let's grab our smartphone and navigate to the download folder. Very easy. This is the simplest way to get an app on Android without needing internet. Now let's install the Electrum app. On your phone, find a file management app. In the Electrum folder, click Install, Allow, Go Back, Install, Wait, and it's done. Now we can open it. So let's go here to Next, a standard wallet, create a new seed. And this procedure I ask you to do very carefully because if you jot down wrong characters on the day you need to restore your wallet, you might have trouble finding your wallet balance. So let's write it down here calmly. And so that we can import it on the other smartphone uh, we're going to click on class and now we're going to go to wallet details and here we're going to have master public key so let's click here on share master public key those who have this qr code can't alter the balance they can only view the balance and that's what this online smartphone is going to do so here in it what are we going to do we're going to click here on create here in this case we will click on standard wallet in this option here in create a new seed i already have the seed or use a master key then yes we will use the master key Next, turn on the QR code here. Let's grab the smartphone. Let's point it here. ZPUB appeared and now we have our Bitcoin wallet here. Let's click here on class on address coins and here is the list of addresses and here we can see that the address is the same. F5 which is MA4 and it shows up here. F5 which is MA. So we have the same wallets on both smartphones, one of which is offline and the other is online. 